In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, goodness of fit or uh, a coefficient of determination. In simple words, it's called R squared. We use this measure to judge how good our model fits the data. That is how accurate our predicted values are to the original data points. This statistics is very important because it helps us understand how good our model is in predicting the values. And the logic behind using R squared is based on the principle of ordinary least squares that I explained you in my earlier video. In this video, I'm going to explain you R squared using three concepts. The first concept I'm going to talk about will be sum of square total. The next will be sum of squares explained. And the third will be sum of squares residual and you will see that you already know uh, this concept all you have to do is like pay a little bit of a uh, attention and you will realize that you know everything and everything will make uh, sense to you after going through this lecture okay so let's start so this was uh, the model that we saw earlier so this was our data set i have plot y here and x here y is our dependent variable and x is our independent variable in the example that i uh, discussed earlier y is wage and x is education and here we want to explain wage in terms of education that is uh, we want to explain how wages depend on uh, education and uh, this was the regression line that we draw using the principle of uh, least squares or using ols estimator and we got beta uh, coefficients and remember uh, this is the intercept and the slope of this line will be represented by beta one parameter so the first concept that i'm going to introduce you is called a sum of square total okay so let's draw another line here for example we may get like average wages and because average wage will be constant across all values so let's call this average wages say for example average wage level is ten dollar as an example right so see here the average wage is ten dollar but look at this one our first data point so we have to see what is the distance between original data point and the average value. So our first data point is y1 minus y bar squared. So we squared this and also we get what's the different distance between this data point and our nth value. Let's call it nth value minus y bar and we're going to square it. And we're going to do it for each value in our data and by using this we'll be able to calculate we're going to sum it up sum up all these values let's call y i minus y bar squared and where i is from 1 to n in this way we'll get total sum of square so what this total sum of squares is telling us it is showing us the variation in the data set and that variation is from the mean value of the data set so this is called the total variation in the data like how far away each value is from the mean value of the data. So that's the total sum of squares. The next concept is uh, sum of square explained. So how much of the variation in the data is explained by our model? To do that, what we have to do is say, so let's draw here. So see, this was our prediction that y1 will be equal to this value. So how far away this value is from the mean value? So we're gonna do the same thing with the second data point. SSE will be our predicted value, nth predicted value minus the mean value squared. So this is the distance between uh, the mean value in the data and our prediction of that nth value. So that is the explained sum of squares. You're already familiar with, with this third point, sum of square residuals. And you're already familiar it from uh, the graph that I showed you earlier. It is the distance between the original data point and our prediction. So this is this distance. That would be the y nth value minus our prediction of that nth value as well. Similarly here, this part is y1 minus y hat 1. We're going to square it. So that is SSR, sum of square residual. So this is sum of square residual. So sum of square residual is this is exactly equal to mu i hat squared where i is 1 to n and which is again y i minus y hat squared and i is from 1 to n okay so these this is the graphical representation this sst represent the total variation in the data 
The most important part is this SSE, which means how much of the variation in the data is explained by our model, this red line. And everything else which is left over, which our model is not taking care of, it's called the sum of square residual. And based on this, we can calculate R squared as R squared is SSE over SST, or we can write it down 1 minus SSR over SST. R squared will tell us how much of the variation in the data is explained by our model. Okay, so the, the value of R squared is always going to be between 0 and 1. If the value is close to 0, it means it is not explaining much variation. And on the other hand, if the value is close to 1, it is good. It is good. It, it means uh, it is explaining a lot of variation in the data. There are a couple of issues with R squared as well. The first issue is low R squared versus high R squared. Is it always good to have a high R squared? Not necessarily. In some of the fields, even low R squared is acceptable. For example, if you are predicting uh, stock prices, uh, you will get very, very low R squared because it's very, very hard to predict um, those values. A low R squared, it doesn't mean that your model is bad. So neither does high R squared says that your model is good. Adding more X variables uh, increases R squared. For example, in this model, equation is explaining wages. So R squared may be 0 0.5. If you add the height of the people in the data set, you may get a higher R squared. For example, you may get like 0 0.60 R squared. Although we know that height may not be correlated with wages, but R squared will go up. So that's the concept of uh, R squared. I will show you R squared in the R port and the explanation and the interpretation of it in the next video. Bye-bye.